For instance, this next new overtone is this one, that is the next new overtone, is this one, D. And so we now have five different tones to play with. Which we again put into scalar order. And presto, a new universal is given us, the five note or pentatonic scale. Now because of that dubious last note, the scale can take either of two forms, one culminating in B flat, and the other culminating in A. Now let's opt for the second of these, the lower one, which is by far the most common of the two. Now this is humanity's favorite pentatonic scale. And by the way, this is the scale you can find so easily on your own piano by playing only the black notes. In fact, the universality of this scale is so well known that I'm sure you could give me examples of it from all corners of the earth. This is from Scotland. Pure pentatonic. Or from China. Or from Africa. from American Indian cultures and from East Indian cultures and from Central and South America and Australia and Finland and, well, that's a true musical linguistic universal. But let's be careful about making linguistic analogies. We could conceivably equate a fundamental tone, such as this C, with the basic morpheme ma, which we discovered before, and then extend the parallel by equating the overtones of that fundamental C with a set of words evolving from that ma syllable. Maybe. It's all still speculation. But what appears to be much more convincing is the analogy between Chomsky's innate grammatical competence and the innate musical grammatical competence which we may all possess universally. That is our inbuilt capacity to construe those naturally serialized overtones and to construe them in different ways, just as the various cultures of the world may have construed basic monogenetic materials and constructed out of them thousands of particular grammars or languages, all different from one another. Analogously, varied human cultures can construe this pentatonic scale in different ways, depending, for example, on which of the five notes is taken to be the tonal center. For example, this one, that's one way. Or this one. You see how it makes it a whole different pentatonic, but they're the same five notes. Or this one, same five notes again, but a different scale. And there is always that blue note to be considered. If the ear construes it as the upper B flat instead of the lower A, it will give us a whole other pentatonic scale, which produces some beautiful African music. And there are even more complex processes, which we won't go into, but which account for the existence of the highly differentiated Japanese pentatonic scale. Does that sound familiar? or the unique pentatonic of Balinese music.